flood to begin to drift south and eastward. The central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning, and then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Hello everybody, welcome back to another super, 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 late New Eastern International Airport update. Uh, I'm very, very sorry that this is, I think, two months late. I was just really busy, but um, I did get a ton of new models, as you can see. There's a ton of uh, new American Airlines, so pretty much all of uh, Terminal 2 or like the Lehigh Valley uh, Terminal is uh, um, the American Airlines, like Regional and uh, Eagle Terminal. So yeah, let's get into it. Now just taking off, we have a uh, Air Canada Q400, and this is just heading out to Montreal. And sitting beside the runway, we have, we have a UPS 757-200, which arrived from Louisville at 6 a.m. this morning. By the way, I forgot to say the time frame for this airport update. So the time frame for this airport update is um, from uh, 12 noon to like uh, 2 o'clock uh, ish. So he's gonna head out back to Louisville at uh, around 5. And over here we have a new model, it's the American Air Airlines a Airbus A321. It's gonna head out to Dallas in uh, an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, they're not actually catering anything. Uh, they're gonna bring the catering trucks and uh, the baggage trucks from other planes because there's another plane that's getting service at this time. And over here we have an Embraer 145 which arrived from Pittsburgh an hour ago and it's right now heading out, pushing back to State College. And behind the Embraer 145 we have an American Eagle Embraer 175 which is going to head out to Chicago in what, an hour and 30 minutes. Behind that we have an American A319 which is going to head out to Charlotte as flight number 312. Over here we have an American A320 which is going to head out to Phoenix in two hours. American 737 in the Chrome Heritage livery uh, which just came from um, Denver, Colorado. American 757-200, which is gonna head out to Miami in uh, two hours. It's getting the catering truck and the baggage on. So this is actually the plane that I was talking about, which is getting catered right now. So when the uh, when these trucks are done here, they're gonna go to the Airbus A321. Switching over to the international terminal, which now is only gonna be American Airlines International flights and One World Partners and the Emirates because it, uh, this terminal has the biggest gate for the Emirates Airbus A380. But anyway, so we have um, the American 767-300ER, which is gonna head to Zurich at 5 p.m., so that's uh, like in four hours, because uh, most of the internationals, uh, they fly out of uh, New Easton at five, and they land at um, Europe at like 9 a.m., 10 a.m. Uh, local time in Europe, so yeah. Now over here we have a whole row of uh, British Airways aircraft. We don't normally get that many uh, British Airways planes, but uh, yeah. Now our first British Airways plane is the British Airways 737-800, which is gonna head out to London City uh, at 6 p.m., uh, which is uh, just ar arrived like uh, 45 minutes ago. And uh, it uh, always sits in uh, the same gate and if you put up the, if you didn't notice and you can go back and watch uh, the beginning of each one and you'll see. Now this is another new model which is the British Airways 757-200. The reason I got this model is just I am a big fan of British Airways planes and I really like the new Gemini Jets. Um, 757 mold. So this is actually uh, going to be operating as an Open Skies flight because I know Open Skies is owned by British Airways and they have like two 757s. Now I actually don't normally know where they operate so I'm going to guess uh, like Paris because um, like I saw pictures from Paris Charles Gaulle so 
This is just gonna head out to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Finally, the queen of the skies, the British Airways 747-400. Uh, gonna head out to London Heathrow. And uh, if Gemini Jets does come with a BLAC retro livery, I would really wanna get that because uh, that would look really good on the airport. And I also like love the retro liveries and it's something like different. Emirates Airbus A380 going to head out to Dubai at 8 p.m. today, which uh, arrived and it's uh, offloading the cargo and the passengers so uh, I'm probably uh, might get the Airbus A380 in the plane livery because this is once again the special livery and then they don't really like I know there's like a lot of special liveries but you know it's like one out of 100 so it's like one one percent of getting the like that plane on the route so I might get the just a plain one. Now going to the new terminal, we have the Lufthansa 747 uh, Did I say 400? I mean eight, uh, which arrived from uh, Frankfurt. Uh, like all of these international flights, they arrive in the morning and they depart at like afternoon. So uh, a new thing that I added to the the new terminal uh, which is uh, the gates uh, there wasn't any gates in the previous update and I also made these uh, wooden light posts now getting towed in the hangar is the American Airlines uh, 757 200 uh, I have another one of these this is actually NG models um, pulling out of the hangar is the American Airlines 757 200 which just got repainted and uh, it's kind of a trick because this is the new Gemini uh, Gemini Jets from the December release of and this is the NG model so I kind of want to do this for a while like pretty much like this got repainted but yeah now here's the two competitors Huawei and Iceland Air so uh, the Iceland Air 757 is gonna head out to uh, Reykjavik and also the Lauer and uh, they're both gonna head out like at 6 o'clock or 6 30. Now as I said in the last New Eastern Airport update which was all the way back in November 2018 I said that the um, Atlanta route is gonna get upgraded to the 757 so yeah here's the uh, Delta 757-200 which is gonna head out to <coughs> Atlanta in an hour and 30 minutes there's no cheating trucks because I actually need to get um, more I only have on this side of the airport and we have like these stairs here but yeah and uh, this uh, Delta 737-900ER, which is going to head out to Minneapolis in uh, one hour. Now, this is actually a new thing that was built. It's pretty much uh, the towers here. And people would pretty much, this is where the arrival terminal, like, um, where you check in. And then you go through security, and then you go down here to the gates. So, right here, you have, like, all the... Uh, regional planes. So right here you have the uh, uh, United Express Q200, which is gonna head out to New York in 15 minutes, and the Air Canada Express CRJ900, which is gonna head out to Toronto in uh, two hours. Another new model, which is the Lot Polish uh, 787-9, um, <clears throat> which is gonna head out to Warsaw, Poland in uh, three hours, which is kind of weird. Yeah, they kind of have a weird schedule, but I actually uh, flew on this exact plane, which, which has the registration of a FPLSA in uh, the summer when I was going uh, and I went to Europe, so I was traveling on his back. We have another uh, international model, which is the 
and a triple seven two hundred ER, which came from Tokyo Naria. So now it's not the American triple seven two hundred. And by the way, I'm, the triple seven two hundred is not in this airport update. Uh, because actually the, the nose landing gear, it broke off, so I had to fix it, and it kept falling off, so uh, I'm probably going to fix it like better. So it's uh, actually it arrived at like 9 a.m. this morning, and it's going to head back well, <laughs> to Tokyo Narita at 10 p.m. And just waiting its turn to take off is the United Express Embraer 175, which is going to head to Washington, Dallas. I... I got all my American Airlines models that I needed, but I need to get a lot more uh, United models because I only have the Q200 and this um, Embraer 175, which is not even like United. It's like operated by like SkyWest, but it just says United Express. So behind it uh, is the Delta 717. Um, a cool thing about it is uh, I actually got all my models for Lehigh Valley. Uh, so now pretty much Lehigh Valley is complete and uh, it has all the points. But this is actually going to head out to Detroit. I know they operate the MBAs, but uh, that's the only thing I have. So. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you for watching this video. And I'm actually going to be filming uh, the next Lehigh Valley Airport update and after this. So you, it will come out like this week. And uh, also... The first uh, Philadelphia airport update will be probably out uh, by uh, March, like not the first week of March, but like uh, the last week of March, because uh, actually this uh, this side of the airport is actually like um, going to be the American Airlines terminal in Philadelphia, since uh, American Airlines is the hub there. So yeah, fly safe.